Proper sampling is crucial for proper characterization of solid waste. TCLP tests are used to determine whether a waste is hazardous or non-hazardous, and obtaining an accurate sample of the waste is critical to ensuring that the results will be accurate. Solid waste may be contained in tarp enclosures, roll-offs, super sacks, drums, or hoppers. No matter the size of the waste pile, it is important to ensure that a representative sample of the waste can be collected for testing. Shown are some of the implements that can be used for sampling. Any tool can be used to dig into the waste pile and collect a small portion for testing. Best results are when the implement is able to pierce down into the waste and collect all levels of a pile, top to bottom. EPA Manual SW846 Chapter 9 addresses the proper ways to conduct sampling, but as with most federal documents, it can be over technical. It is our intention to simplify this for people wishing to characterize a waste as hazardous or not hazardous. Many assume a simple grab sample is sufficient for testing. However, such a small sample taken from a single region of the entire waste pile is not representative of the whole. The use of a simple hand trowel to collect samples from all areas of the waste pile, making sure to dig down as much as possible into the waste matrix. Pulling four to six small samples from the waste pile and mixing them together will help ensure a representative sample of the entire waste pile. Another implement that is particularly good at pulling samples from top to bottom of a waste pile is a simple piece of PVC pipe sealed on one end and opened at the other. This is similar to a Kalawasa or Thief sampler, but much more simply made. This tool allows you to collect core samples within any waste pile from any strata that may have developed from top to bottom. A simple shovel can also be used to dig into the waste in several different areas to again ensure the waste sample is representative of the whole. Each individual sample should be collected in a bucket and mixed thoroughly. Once the waste within the bucket is homogeneous, you can quarter the waste and scoop one quarter into your sample container and keep the other three as retains or for other principals who may want a split of the same sample. We appreciate you watching this video. Please post comments below or contact us with specific questions.